have some more stuff um, that I want to go over with you. But anyways, in this example, 3x minus 2 plus y, um, sorry, 3x minus y plus 2 equals 0. Again, if you're looking into converting, just like when we converted our coordinates, when we're converting a rectangular equation to a polar equation, we have to remember that x equals r cosine of theta, y equals r sine of theta. All right. Where does that come from? Remember, that comes from the triangle. If you guys have the triangle, and here is r, and here is your theta, x, this value, right? Let's pretend that's you know, x. Let's just pretend that's x and that's y. How do you figure out the value of x? Well, that's cosine, cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Just from the triangle. Does everybody agree with me? The cosine of that angle is x over hypotenuse. And then you multiply by r, right? So x equals r cosine of theta. And you do the same thing for sine. So anyways, now that we know these two, and we're never going to forget them because they are essential when we're converting, I'm just going to plug those values in. So I have 3 times r cosine of theta minus r sine of theta plus 2 equals 0. Now again, what we need to do is we need to solve for r. All right. So I can kind of eliminate these parentheses. They're not really doing anything for me. And one thing I want to do is I want to get the r's together. So I'm going to want to factor out the r. The problem is I have a 2 over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 2 on the other side. So I have 3r cosine of theta minus r sine of theta equals a negative 2. Now I can factor out an r, and I'm left with 3 cosine of theta minus sine of theta equals negative 2. So now I have r times its expression. To get the r by itself, I just have to divide by that expression on both sides. Because that expression divided by itself divides to 1, and I'm left with 3 cosine of theta minus the sine of theta. OK? Oops. Cool? Not cool.